This is my printer box simple after a month of being frustrated because the extruder, well, after a month I figured out it was the extruder gear and the uh, extruder that was uh, causing the problems. Actually, this is my first 3D printer and so I've been learning, trying to figure out all the parameters. Been an experiment, that's for sure. But uh, PrinterBot folks sent me a three millimeter gear for the extruder, and obviously I'm printing 1.75 millimeter filament. The other thing is that this uh, extruder uh, assembly came with uh, put some light on it. Came with uh, without a filament guide, so there's a little you see a little white piece in there. I added that. That's PTFE tubing inside di in, inside diameter of uh, 1.8 millimeters. I cut off a little piece. I had to trim a millimeter on each side off the wood. And then I put the uh, extruder, a uh, uh, correct extruder gear on, uh, a 1.75 millimeter extruder gear, and added the tubing. And then after I trimmed the wood, put it all back together again. And then uh, didn't tighten down the idler bearing, so I tightened that down. So now, finally, the extruder is working properly. And I'm getting, well, that's hard to follow when it's moving fast um, but uh, basically this thing is really moving printing the five gear planetary version of the planetary gear it's uh, got quite a ways to go yeah but this thing is really moving fast it's on Layer 12 out of 60, so it's about a little over one fifth of the way, 20 20%. And the uh, I'll put this back on here. And the extruder is working, I hope. And continue to work, keep that filament going. It's uh, retracting and and then pushing the filament in. Retracts when it moves and just keeps pushing that filament in. So I've made quite a few modifications to this. So you can see these knobs here, and I uh, just printed out a printed out another set with the green. Just for, I'm going to uh, school Thursday night, so I'm gonna things to show off to the parents and kids uh, they are getting ready for science fair and this was just a this is going to be a demo so um, I'm not going to keep this video running for the whole time that this uh, gear is printing but uh, I just thought I'd give a few minutes of uh, documenting my success after a month I've um, I also made the uh, Y carriage modification there. You can see uh, uh, my Y carriage was sagging and was loose, it wasn't level. So I made the uh, Y carriage modification on the top and bottom. Added a little uh, uh, zip tie here because this uh, was getting caught in between the base and this. Uh, screw here, the knob, and then I uh, put some vibration dampeners underneath it because it was resonating with the uh, wood on the table. So this printer was really loud when I first turned it on and it didn't work. So I've, uh, it's a lot quieter, it's faster, it's more reliable, 
Uh, it's putting out the filament, and so I'm going to take it to a school finally. I'm finally ready. It's, uh, I was worried there, but I was going to be ready for Thursday. Today's Sunday, and by the way this gear is being printed, it looks like I'm going to have something to show people. Okay, that's probably seven and a half minutes of enough 